morning. I'm Mandy from the Youth Work Team and today's story is going to be a little bit different today. We're, we're not going to use a book, we're going to use what's called our imagination. We're going to try and picture ourselves in this storybook. We're going to think about the smells that will happen, the things we'll see and the colours we'll see. And today's story is called Brad and His Gran. So if you're sitting comfortable and we're ready, we'll start the story. And please take part when we can, okay? So let's start. Brad called his gran on the phone and said, Gran, would you like to go a walk today? Gran said, of course, Brad. If you just give me two seconds, I'll just get ready. So what do you think Gran needed to put on to get ready to go a walk? That's right, she needed her jacket. So Gran put on her jacket, went out the door and locked it behind her. She headed off to Brad's house, where his mother was putting his jacket on as well. And he met his Gran at the door. Hi Gran, said Brad. Hi Brad, said Gran and they both decided where they were going to go. Brad wanted to go to the park to feed the ducks today. Gran said, have we any bread? Did you ever go to feed the ducks? Do you take some bread? That's great. So Brad went back indoors and asked his mum, mum, have we got any spare bread we can take to feed the ducks? Brad's mum said, of course we have. I'll go and get you a little bag. So Brad's mum put some bread in a bag and Brad left with his gran heading towards the park. The sun was shining. It was a beautiful day. Do we know what colour the sun is? That's right, the sun's yellow. And the sun was high in the sky that day and it was beautiful. It was nice and cosy weather as well. So they headed towards the park and they saw a little boy on his bike who said, Hello Brad. Hello Tom, said Brad, as they continued to walk towards the park. They also saw a big black dog. Do you have a pet? Do you have a dog? Wonderful. And what's your dog's name? Great. As they headed towards the park, Brad said to his gran, I love the ducks. Brad's gran said, yeah, they're great. They're lovely. So they headed even further into the park and they could see the pond in the distance. And Brad was really excited. His gran said, run ahead, but not too far. Do you ever go to the park? Do you run away ahead, but not too far? You should always listen to the person that's taking you to the park. Brilliant. As he walked and ran away towards the park to the pond where he could see all the ducks, Gran shouted, Stop, Brad, that's far enough. Brad stopped where he was and they waited on his Gran catching up. So they only had a few little steps to take and there they were at the pond. And Brad was so excited and he got the bag of bread and started breaking it into small pieces. His gran helped when he was on big bits that were stuck. So he chucked the bread into the water and the ducks were quack, 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 quacking everywhere and running towards Brad and they were jumping in and out the water to try and get the bread. And Brad was so excited. Then the bread was finished. So Gran said to Brad, what would you like to do now? I'd like to play on the swings for a little while. Have you been on a swing? Who pushes you when you're on the swing? Not too high, I hope. Great stuff. So Brad went on the swing and Gran pushed him. And he was looking up to the sky. Do you know what colour the sky is? That's right, blue. 
Higher and higher and higher, Brad was getting pushed into the wards of the sky. Then Grad said, Unfortunately, Brad, it's time to go home. Oh, said Brad. One more push. One more push. Okay, said Gran. Five more pushes. Can you count to five? One, two, three, four, five. That's it, Brad. Time's up, said his Gran. Okay, Gran. So Gran lifted Brad out the swing and they headed home to his mother's house. So off they went back towards his mum's house and it was getting quite cold now. The sun was behind a cloud. Do you know what colour of clouds are? Right, yay, that, they're white. Brilliant. So Brad was hopping and skipping all the way back to his mum's house. So happy that he'd fed the ducks today. As he reached his mum's door, he said, Gran, I'll be okay here, as he ran up the steps. Brad knocked on the front door. His mum answered, Mum, I've had a great day today. I fed the ducks and was pushed high on the swings. Brad's mum waved to Brad's gran and said, Thank you. And gran said, Not a problem. See you next time. And gran headed home. I hope you enjoyed our little walk to the park today to feed the ducks. And hopefully it won't be long before you can go to the park to play as well. Until next time, take care, stay safe. Bye. Bye.